I moved to Yuba City in 71 and went to work for United Airlines in 1979 and retired after 36 years and uh, was looking for something to do. We had a school meeting one day and somebody suggested that we build an airplane and a couple people laughed, a couple people choked and I, I said, sure, why not? So we started working on the process to uh, put this project together. The school came up with uh, the idea to have kids write uh, an essay. And then we would look at the essays and pick from those essays and interview some kids to get in the group. And uh, we wound up with a group of seven kids that stayed until the end of the program. This airplane I mean, is a Vans RV-12. It's a kit design that a group of people can put it together and it can be flight tested in a very short period because it complies with factory uh, requirements. And uh, we did that. So over a period of just under three years, uh, we started off with 10 students, wound up with seven, and we finished this up just about two months ago. Test flew it, came out of the paint shop just a couple weeks ago, and this is the final product. It seats uh, two people, as you can see. It's 100 horsepower, and it has a, a Rotax engine in it, which is a German engine. With uh, fuel and baggage and passengers in it, it can weigh up to 1,320 pounds. Uh, 130 mile an hour airplane, it can fly for about four hours. It's good for day and night, flying in good weather. It's considered a light sport airplane. It was built in a pretty small space, kind of a standard office size space with large windows. We contemplated a couple different ways to get it out of that office. We couldn't take it out with the wings on it. The wings on this are removable, so we had the wings off. Uh, we had a glass company come out and remove a 86 inch pane of glass and then rolled it out. So that took a lot of teamwork. They were pretty proud of that. I was too. Taking it out of the office, we did the initial construction. It was really impressive to just kind of get it out in the sunlight and see it. They put three years worth of work into this and they saw it do what it was supposed to do. And they did it, it did it well. It was a huge accomplishment for everybody. It was a pretty cool, kind of emotional day. To see that thing fly after like three years, you know, that's, you know, it's a really joy to my heart. It's something that me and others worked on, you know, we built and see it flying in the air. It's pretty cool. Uh, that was a great day. It was really nice to see all the community come out to support us. And it was just amazing to see it fly. It's so beautiful in the air. When they first start off, nobody knew any of the terminology. When we started this airplane, none of the kids were driving. They were all freshmen, sophomores, and maybe a junior. And uh, when we finished, a couple of the boys were taller than I am. They're all driving, they have jobs and everything else. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a real project to stay committed and involved and interested and everything to finish this up. Yeah, this has really opened my eyes to uh, aerospace engineering. Yeah, it's really shown me the paths of engineering I can do. If you want to do something, you absolutely can. You just have to find somebody to help you along the way. And finding mentors that are supportive are super helpful. And just don't sell yourself short. You can always achieve anything you put your mind to. A mentor is a um, tremendously rewarding experience working with the young people. Um, we started it with students who a lot of them didn't have much experience with metalwork and hand tools and, and certainly with building an airplane and uh, it got to the point where they were largely able to build components unsupervised and that's pretty incredible. Um, I think a lot of them maybe didn't quite realize that this was something they could accomplish at the beginning. So it was a mixed emotion for sure. I was very happy that it flew because it was just the climax of like a long uh, process. It was also kind of sad because of like the finality of like the experience it was just all over in an instant. It was very rewarding to kind of you know get to fly an airplane that uh, was well built, that handled nicely. Um, the attention to detail and all the hours of effort that went into it were, were evident in how the airplane flies. It, it handles really great in, in just about every way, and the kids should be really proud of uh, what they've accomplished. I, I, we're kind of looking forward to how they react when they get to go fly in it. Hey, let's go flying. <laughs>